الله أكبر الله أكبر الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وأصحابه أجمعين اللهم لا سهل إلا ما جعلته سهلا وأنت تجعل الحزن إذا شئت سهلا اللهم آتي نفوسنا تقواها وزكها أنت خير من زكاها أنت وليها ومولاها اللهم علمنا ما لا نعلم وانفعنا بما علمتنا إنك أنت العليم الحكيم We will go back little bit to Rasulullah صلى الله عليه وسلم in his seerah and to focus in some meaning of the seerah of Rasulullah sallam it can help us to understanding our duty nowadays when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent Muhammad sallallahu sallam as a messenger and give him the risala which is the Quran what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants from that things and how is the Sahaba they understand their duty and we want to compare their understanding and their action to our understanding and to our action nearly we are in similar in a similar situation in that time the Islam it was strange and the Muslimin, they, they was a stranger there in that time, and now the Islam is strange, and the Muslimin, they are stranger in the earth. <coughs> and Rasulullah Sallam saying, the Islam start strange, and again will be strange. And the solution will be same in that time, and in, the, in this time will be the same. If we understand that time solution, we will understand the solution of this time and how we can uh, do our duty regarding the da'wah and the Islam. When Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent Muhammad sallallahu and gave him the message, what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala want from this message? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala want from this message to create a ummah, a nation. And this ummah is taking the Quran, understanding the Quran, understanding the message, and implementing the message. There is one hadith from Jabir ibn Abdullah. One hadith from Jabir ibn Abdullah. He said, Rasulullah sallam, he spent 10 years in Mecca. No one responds to him. 10 years. What that means? Ten years, no one responds. Not that means no one, I mean in the individual da'wah. Jabir ibn Abdullah means in this, no one from the Ansar, as an Ansar, they respond to his call. Individual, there is many, it's come and they accept his da'wah. That means it's focused in, 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 in something which is very important. This da'wah is not only the individual da'wah and to live as, as it is when they understand when they understand la ilaha illallah and they understand the message this message change them actually they are living in a society they are living in a society and uh, many of them they are also rich in their society they got their own programs they got all uh, on duty or business they work but now when the messages come to them how this message change them how this message change their duty how this message even change their understanding and how it affect their life when we say Islam now same things now, the da'wah, it's reached to us. The pure da'wah, alhamdulillah, insha'Allah, it's reached to us. And we are carrying the flag of la ilaha illallah. How this da'wah is change us? There is any changing in our understanding, in our action, in our duty, 
in our thinking as in that time the da'wah is changed the Muslimin. Uthman radiallahu anhu he was very rich. Abdul Rahman ibn Awf he was very rich. Even Abu Bakr radiallahu anhu he was very rich. And some of another sahaba they are very rich. But when the da'wah has come to them how has changed their priority? What the priority become in their life? When you go to the old the Sahaba, all the Sahaba in Mecca, when the da'wah is reached to them, how they deal with this message? How they deal with this message? Go to any Sahabi or any Sahabiya, means female Sahabi. How this message change them and how they deal with it with, the, with this message. When they receive this message, change their life. It's become their life. The da'wah, this message become their life. They are night, they are thinking about the project of the Islam. You will go to the seerah, you will see the difference. This Umar ibn Khattab radiyallahu anhu, when he became a Muslim, how he changed the system of the da'wah. Uthman radiyallahu anhu, also how he do it. Abu Bakr, all how they do when they come to the Islam and how they change their situation. Because they know this da'wah is not only to be a Muslim and to live in the society and to deal with the kuffar normally and only I am a Muslim in my heart, but actually is no any change in my life, in my thinking, in my understanding. This is, this is the problem. This is the problem now, how this da'wah is change us. There's any changing in our thinking? There's any changing in our life? It's become our main project, the da'wah, means establishing the deen, establishing Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala deen, or only, yes, we know la ilaha illallah, yes, we are, uh, uh, we are give bay'ah and we are in the, in the system, but actually we are sleeping. There's nothing changed in our life. Still, what is the priority in our life? Still my priority in our life to eat good, to live in luxury, to try to get a home, to try to get a car, to try to take account in the bank, to try to get very good clothes, very good makeup, very good perfume, very good. This is the this is the system. Still, we are in the same system. That means same priority. What's the change? Only I have like a dainty cart. I am a Muslim. Only this is this is the changing. But in actual in actual things, there is no changing in our life. That means there is a defect. There is a problem. That means our nervous system is not working. Our nervous system in the body is not working. Now we are seeing a lot of problems around us in the, in the, in the Muslim world. Around us, a, a lot of problems. Now, how is our nervous system is working? It's like a paralyzed, no any effect. Even we are, we can see in the TV, the Muslims everywhere killed, tortured, and we are eating, we are drinking, we are laughing. Nothing, nothing changed us. Different than the Sahaba radiyallahu anhum ardahum. It's not, there's nothing change in our life. That means there's a defect, there is a misunderstanding. Now in the society, look to the Muslim. They want to solve their problem here. That means they want to be in peace in this society. They want to live peacefully here and they are okay. They want everything in very high standard. But if we go back to the project of the Islam, the project of the Islam to establish the deen of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, to implement the Islam in any place we can implement it. Due to this, Rasulullah when he understanding these things, and once he want to, to sleep, he want to sleep, uh, um, he is not sleeping, and Khadija said to him, Ya Rasulullah, why you don't sleep? Then he said, Ya Khadija. 
the time of sleeping is gone. There's no time for sleeping. There's a time for action. My duty to act now. There's no time for sleeping. Now, when we are coming to the Islam now and we understand what has changed in our life, we said the Haba Ahdun Naum. We say that the, the time of, of sleeping is gone. We say the time of uh, perfume is gone. We say the time of uh, clothes and uh, wearing the very good clothes and this and that is gone. And we are now different kind of people. If it's not changed, that means there is misunderstanding. That means we don't understand. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, day and night, he is running for the da'wah. Who is support him in this? Look to this. Direct when the da'wah come to Rasulullah sallam, and he come back from the mountain, Khadija said to him, what's happened to you? He said, this, this and that happened to me while the angels come and give him the message. He thought there is something has happened to him now Khadija, she is perfect woman. She take him to her cousin, Waraqa ibn Nawfal, and she asking Waraqa, Waraqa ibn Nawfal, look what's happened to your cousin, Muhammad. Then he asking him what's happened. He said, I have seen this and this. He said, oh, this is the same, the same story with Musa, alayhi salam. You will be the prophets. And... Look here what, 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 what the message come to him from this man. He said, I hope, I hope I was young. I was young when your people, they kick you out of the, kick you out of Mecca. Then Rasulullah he said, oh, my people, they will kick me out of Mecca? He said, yes. Anyone, look to this, he don't say any prophet. He said, anyone. Anyone, he, ca he came, he come in this da'wah, they will kick him. 